All right, how you doing? My name is Thomas Cooksey. I am the director, uh, DP, and editor for the film Black is Black. It's a film based on a conversation on an issue in the Black community called colorism. And that's what Black is Black is. When you decided to create uh, Black is Black, um, it's evident for people who watched it what, what your message was, but what motivated you to create the film to uh, you know, present that message? I'm just curious. Was it a situation that occurred? Was it a conversation you had? Was it something you saw on film somewhere else? How did that happen? Uh, so it was, it was basically the issues of 2020 and every year before that, just uh, being all the police brutality against black people, all the negative, the negative topics surrounding black people. And we, me and my friends, uh, the writer, Taj, Taj Lewis, we have discussions about, we can't control that. What can we control? And one of the things we can't control is, is colorism in our community. So we've had this conversation a couple of times before, uh, but then the writer, uh, no, one of, the, one of the actors in the film had a little argument with uh, his friend. One of the actors is light-skinned, one of the actors is dark-skinned. Uh, and he talked about how hard it is for uh, darker-skinned actors to get roles in films, and it just sparked another conversation that turned into uh, Taj, who's the dark-skinned actor in the film, to write Black is Black, which was just basically a conversation giving both sides to the story and saying we both have problems. And if we attack each other's problems and say our problem is bigger than theirs, then we're never going to solve that problem because nobody's ever going to be right. No, that, that's 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 interesting, man. That is sparked from a, a a genuine conversation in in your circle. Um, how did were other people sharing their opinions about that conversation, or did you guys just uh, go into saying immediately after the fact that that's a great discussion and we need to put that on film? Uh, well, we've seen it on we've seen it on TV. We've seen uh, are you team Drake or are you team somebody else? Team light skin, team dark skin, and uh, we've seen it on Instagram. We've seen it on all over social media. And it was just one of those things where uh, we actually, Taj wrote it on a Saturday. We shot it on a Saturday, edited it on a Sunday. It was finished already fully by Monday. And then we just sat on it and tried to figure out what to do with it. Uh, but it was one of those inspirational weekends where we were just hanging, not planning on shooting a film. And we shot the film because we were so inspired and I forgot, I believe it was George Ford, George Floyd around that time. That was like the tipping point for us where we just had to say something about something, even if it's not police brutality, just something about an issue that we could talk about without being super angry on the subject. Right, right, right. No, that, that makes sense, man. That, that makes a lot of sense. And uh, you, you mentioned that... Uh, you were having a conversation or some other people were discussing it, but was that, uh, was it determined who was going to actually be in the film uh, when you all were having that discussion or did you seek out the actors, um, you know, to participate in that after the fact, right? How did that work? How did that selection process work? Uh, so with RDD, we have our, uh, we have our select crew of actors that are a part of RDD. So we usually use them when we do our stuff. Like I have my brother, Kerry, uh, I have my one of my best friends, Taj, who's the writer, uh, part of RDD. He was in the film. And then we have another actor, Caleb, that helps us out with everything that we do. Uh, he acts in pretty much all of our films now. Uh, it's, it's our core group that we put. These are usually practice sessions that we do on the weekend. Uh, we shoot stuff just to practice, not necessarily to make it a film. Uh, we want to develop this into a film. Uh, no, we want to develop this into a web series uh, if we can get the funding for it. But right now, it's it was uh, let's shoot something, get our acting practice in, get our uh, get our writing practice in, get my shooting practice in, and that's what Black is Black originally. Uh, that's what we were supposed to shoot that weekend, and then that conversation uh, struck and inspiration hit, and that's what came from it.
So one of the actors is the writer, uh, Taj Lewis, and one of the actors is uh, one of the actors that we use all the time for our stuff. He was in one of our films before as well, Vices. Yeah, v Vices is a great film too, man. I, I saw that as well. And I want to give you an opportunity in just a few minutes to, to kind of run down your resume. Um, were there any difficulties that you didn't expect when, when making Black is Black, though? I, I know you said you did it in one day. It might have uh, spawned from a from a practice session. Um, but were there any difficult, um, difficulty no. in, in, in carrying that, that film out the way that it went? Uh, no, because it was from, like, it was from inside of a, Oh, we got great feedback. We got uh, a lot of great feedback. A lot of, a lot of mixed feedback. Uh, a lot of people were saying it's not true, and like to say that colorism isn't true is a, is fairly an understatement. And most of the people that were saying it's not true, like when you go to their profiles, they were on the lighter skin side, so they don't have to deal with the negative conversations that uh, darker skinned people go through in the daily on a daily day. Um, but the majority is, yes, this is an issue that we need to address. Now, that, that's 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 great, man. That That's a real powerful film, which is what, what gave me the motivation to seek you out, man. But at the same time, um, was it intended to be that short? I know you said you had practice sessions where you would normally create things like that. But um, is it is it normal for you to create a film that short? Um, and then present to everyone as a project. Um, because again, like even though it was shorter than the basic uh, short film, let's say 20, 10, 30, 40 minutes, um, you know, it, it said a lot. And in my opinion, it deserved the same amount of attention. So I just want to know if you went into it um, intending to make it that short. Because you said you were thinking about making it into a film later or a series um, or whatnot. So was that your intentions for the initial project? Yes. Uh, yes, we wanted it to be a short film uh, we wanted it to be, I think it was two, three pages. We wanted something that we would be able to shoot that day. Uh, we wanted something that really didn't give a resolution. And we wanted to create something that would try to force people to want more, to try to force people to ask, well, what is the solution? Perfect. Uh, if you give us a little money, we could try to figure it out. We may not have all the answers, but maybe we can have some that can give some resolution to questions that people are asking. That's a great, that was a great idea, man. That was, that was a great idea. Um, I think you all work well together from the chemistry I saw in the film, um, which is why I thought Vice was so good too, man, the chemistry and, and the talent behind the people putting that project together, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Great job on that. Now, if you could, if you could communicate to, uh, to myself and, and maybe some of your fans watching, like, what, what are some of your other projects that we can look forward to in the future and also projects you've already done besides Black is Black? Uh, so Vices, like you said, that was written by my brother, Kerry. Uh, he's an actor. He was one of the, the guest actors in the film. He was in the lead role. The lead role was Caleb, uh, the, the light-skinned actor from Black is Black. Uh, we, have, we still have Swipe that's available on Amazon Prime. Uh, it's also on our YouTube if people don't want to look on Amazon Prime, but Amazon Prime has the highest quality version. Um, and we are currently working on a film called Acting a Fool, which is starring, uh, his first starring role, my brother Kerry, will be starring in Acting a Fool. And that's basically a film about a struggling actor who gets himself in an awkward acting predicament. And I don't want to give too much. We haven't really figured out the log line, but that's, that's supposed to be a semi-thriller uh, Dramedy. We like to do dramedies. We like to make people laugh a little bit on a dramatic subject matter that needs to be discussed. And then we have the Black is Black uh, series that we're also trying to push and figure out how we can raise some money or get a producer to back us for that, uh, because we do have a, a series idea for that. That's cool, man. And if you if you uh, you and your group come up with a, a tag that you want to add to, our, you know, to uh, solicit those funds and, um, you know, communicate through your social media, please let me know. I'll make sure I add that to uh, the promotions that we do for you in the near future, man, because I want to make sure you guys get as much support as possible, man, because that, that was really moving. I think a lot of people will be, um, you know, inspired and affected positively, you know, as a result of watching it if they haven't seen it already. Um, 
I wanted to know also if you could answer this question, man. What what made you get into filmmaking? That because that that varies from person to person. What 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 caused you to get involved? I'm just curious. I've told this a million times, and it sounds weird to me saying it now, but I can say it fast. <laughs> uh, senior year in high school, I was in a media class. I had to take media class or economics. I was like, oh, I don't want to do extra math. I'll do media. It seems easy. I thought it was easy. It wasn't easy, but it was hard fun. So I enjoyed that, but I still enjoyed forensic chemistry growing up. So I went to school for forensic chemistry, did very bad in forensic chemistry, realized I was not going to be a chemist. I went home uh, sophomore year and I watched forensic files, a different version of forensic files because I love forensic files. I love CSI. Those were some of my favorite shows, but I watched the different forensic files and it was boring to me. And I was curious why it was boring to me. And that's when I started researching on the production company behind it. And I'm like, oh, they're telling a story to make this boring subject interesting. And that's why I thought I liked it. So after I had that realization, that's when I started going harder in film. And I tried to switch my major to media production, but I learned nothing in film in that. Um, So uh, me and Taj, who I also went to school with, uh, decided to shoot our own stuff. And we basically learned everything from trial and error in YouTube University. So that's how I got into film. And then after uh, we graduated, I realized that this is what I wanted to do, even if I didn't get paid for it yet. Wow. wow that's, that's a great story, man. That's real interesting, man. That's real interesting. That, and that explains, that explains why, um, why you go so hard. Cause I mean, to go into, for this to be a passion and not really doing it for the money, man, like that, that speaks volumes. That speaks volumes um, on your talent and your um, intentions behind it, man, and why everything's coming out such as Black is Black so well. Um, with that said, too, man, I, I wanted to ask you if you could provide um, some some um, some information or, or some encouragement on, on people who may be like yourself, who gotten involved in film or maybe thinking about getting started in film because of the interest they have. Do you have any words of encouragement or inspiration Uh, For people like that, young, male, female, old, whatever. Yes. Uh, Just go out and do it. Uh, If you want to do something, you'll do it. If you want to play basketball, you'll go to a court and you'll play basketball. If you want to do film, you can. everybody has a cell phone. You can pick up your camera. You can shoot something. It doesn't even have to have sound. It can be a montage. If you want to shoot something and you want to tell stories, then tell stories. Uh, there's a million books you can read. There's a million YouTube videos that you can learn from. You can go to a library. Like all of the books that I purchased are at the library. Those are all available. Um, just go out and do it. Uh, if you really want to do something, you'll do it. Somebody doesn't have to actually do it. Like if you wanna, if you wanna eat cake, you'll eat cake. So the same way I say that, I say that for film. That's good stuff, man. That's that's good stuff, man. And I, I think um I think it's a lot of people hearing this, and then also whether they watch the movie before or the or the short film after the fact, man. I think they'll be really inspired, bro. That's why I'm I'm thankful for your time. I know we had some some complications with our schedule, but look here, man. That that means you're busy. You handling your business. Same over here. So yeah, I have no problems, you know, going through those um, you know, those um, jumping through those hoops to 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 make this connection like this, man. For for people who may, like I said, take a lot from it and uh, run with it and be encouraged.